decided to ignore Archivist's orders, did you? V2 Snail, come in. The Raven is landed. Requesting backup. Please, Snail, come in! The Vespers left her for dead. That wasn't pretty. The credit shall be all mine. A fabulous opportunity. Balaam was a sinking ship. The Archivist's star is on the rise. And me. I'll be well rewarded when I bring them your head on a silver platter. Yes. I smell opportunity. Did I misread the signs? Hey everybody, welcome back. So today's video was requested by someone I think YouTube is trying to hide from me for some reason. I got the notification, but when I clicked on the comment, it was suddenly gone and didn't exist. But not to worry, because I still managed to find it and get that necessary screenshot so I can embed you within this video forever. <clears throat> so, today we look at G3 Wuhuai at the request of Niall Tenho. I'm pretty sure I got both of those names pretty well wrong. And so we're here in the PTM AC Customs Garage, but first let's get to know that dirty shizno of a pilot, G3 Wuhuai, AC, Li Long, Gun 3 of the Red Guns, the Balaam a Group's AC Squad. A born con artist, no scheme was too underhanded for Wuhuai during his days as a criminal mastermind, and exploitation of others was a byword for opportunity. However, his illicit feng shui pharmacy operation was a fatal overstep, imperiling the health of Balaam, Balaam's economic sphere and leading to widespread disease. It was Niall, now the deputy commander of the Red Guns, who ultimately shut Wuhuai down. Of course, the drug dealer made his shop called Feng Shui Pharmacy. Man, hey, these drugs will help you mind the chief feng shui, dude. So let's take a look at the AC you just witnessed me turn into a pile of gold-tinged excrement. E yeah, I may have possibly been playing a little too much Elden Ring lately for the extremely difficult DLC that dropped recently. Currently, Rolana is my bane of existence. Li Long's frame is a Dafeng and Balam hybrid with Tian Kiang head and core parts, both from Dafeng Core Industry. The arms are a pair of Melander arms from Balaam, and the legs are the big boy quad Vero legs, also from Balaam. His booster is Furlong's entry level Furlong Dynamics P04 booster, so we will certainly be changing that. <laughs> the targeting is taken care of by the missile heavy Furlong P12 SML. I'm not really sure why, his missiles aren't really good for missile or for multi lock. Li Long is powered by a Dafang Ming Tang generator, pretty cool, and he has an assault armor. Also pretty cool. His arsenal is a little missile heavy. In its right hand, it has a Balaam Ludlow. In the left hand, it has a Furlong P08 SPL-06 hand split missile launcher. On the right back slot is a Furlong P19 SPL-12 sp split missile launcher. And on the left back slot is a <laughs> SU-Q5 energy shield from Takigawa Harmonics. Sorry, I puked a little. It, it's not even a good shield either. <coughs> This big heavy was 11,930 AP, has a defensive performance of 1,228, an attitude stability of 2,249, oink, and a slow base boost speed of 264. So leaving that massive frame alone, we are making our boy ultra fast. Or okay, just faster than slow with the furlong P06 speed. Our new FCS is a Balaam Talbot for a good close and mid-range balance. I had to change generator out for a San Tai from Dafeng because the new weapons are a little bit thirstier than the old setup was. And since I don't really care for sacrificing DPS for a shield, I have a pulse shield to replace the, the one I threw in the scrap pile. The only real change in our base specs is we are now almost faster than slow at a base boost speed of 288. Wow, that energy load is almost cannot get more exact. <laughs> and so finally, for some guns and missiles. In the right hand, I gave it a Dafang Huben Gatling gun, because more bullets is more fun. In the left hand, I swapped to the Furlong P19 MLT-04 for the superior DPS that it has over all of the other hand launchers. On the right back, I went with a slight upgrade to the Furlong P17 SPL-16 split missile launcher. 
And on the left back, I have replaced that energy board with a Shaowei Gatling Cannon. Because again, more bullets is more fun. His emblem is of the Balaam Red Guns variant with a koi fish and a gold dragon in the foreground. Yes, I went ahead and painstakingly replaced his emblem manually after unlocking the AC data for modification. It's not that bad this time though. Usually it, it's a little bit hard to get it exact, but this time I had a couple of little spots that really like it, anyhow, I'm getting ahead of my I'm getting I'm getting off subject. Piloting Lee Long, or maybe I should call it Lee Longer now, I found hovering as a necessity to make up for the lower speed and having a slightly more close range build. So hover at a somewhat low altitude and let the bullets and missiles fly. When you inevitably stagger your enemy, kick the brown stuff out of them. You're heavy in this thing, and being heavy means your kicks are big bonks. In PvP, it was a pretty good AC. It didn't like to lose, so it didn't. It just took me a round to feel out the other guy each time. <laughs> so do you see this dog here? This is a totally random picture of a dog, because I like dogs. And if you like dogs, then leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That's a good enough reason, right? Yeah, oh, if you like cats more, then leave a like for this random cat. He's a cute little kibby. Oh yeah, uh, gameplay. Sorry, I'm busy petting the animals.
Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I hope you all enjoyed and also thank you uh now then how uh, I'm I, I know I'm getting it wrong. I'm sorry. Uh but thank you for the suggestion as always. I, I love doing that. I love getting suggestions. I love interacting with you guys. Uh leave a like, subscribe, comment. Always welcome to comment. Next week you can expect G4's cannon head. See you next week. Well, actually, I'll probably see you sooner than that if you, if you keep stick around for other videos, too. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs>